In your Rose Garden statement, uh, you said, for years I've warned of the dangers of pandemics. Uh, last year I wrote about the possible threat of coronaviruses and the urgent need for planning. And indeed, your blog of 20, March 2019 warned of escapes of viruses from labs uh, in Asia as posing, I quote, a real danger of a worldwide pandemic that could kill human beings on a vast scale. So given this context, on the 22nd of January, Wuhan, a city the size of London by population, was sealed off from the rest of the world. Uh, on the 30th of January, the WHO declared a public health emergency of international concern. Given what you'd thought about this over the years past, did this set alarm bells ringing and did you think what you'd thought about in advance was happening? Um, thank you, Mr Chairman. Um, I, think it's, uh, I think it's right that the um, public selected representatives are trying to uh, figure out what happened and the lessons to be learned. I hope you'll get all the senior people involved uh, in here to, to, to speak to you about it. The truth is that senior ministers, senior officials, senior advisers like me fell disastrously short of the standards that the public has a right to expect of its government in a crisis like this. When the public needed us most, the government failed. And I'd like to say to all the families of those who, uh, who died unnecessarily how sorry I am for the mistakes that were made and for my own mistakes at that. Regarding the, um, the beginning of this uh, crisis, yes, you're right that, um, that I, like many people, had, had talked about this um, before. Um, when, it, when it started uh, in January 